Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad designer shout out. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is 8th grader Priya's awesome gingerbread house. It is absolutely amazing. When I gave her this lesson, the big rule was we were building out of four millimeter walls. So this is a primer for when we laser cut. I also wanted to highlight how cool Scribble is. You can see she did an amazing job taking Scribble, making it skinny, using it as icing. Priya also came up with these amazing peppermint sticks which is just fantastic. Lots of cool designs. If we click on these, she has turned them into a shape so that they load faster. She put the little mints all over the building. These look like M&Ms. What a cool idea. Of course, on the top, she has got the awesome gummies. Uh, so many cool techniques as she took this gingerbread house to epic levels. Absolutely makes my day. Priya, thank you so much for all your effort and taking time to share with us. I do have a second designer I'd like to highlight. Let me paste it into a tab. This is another cool design from sixth grader Drake. He has made a shell game out of these awesome little robots, hoping to get them 3D printed. Once again, friends, this is so cool because he used the share command and then I added these notes, letting him know that, hey, this is a neat design, but I'm afraid these would break and I wanted to make sure that he got those all centered up. One thing I really, really want to highlight though is I'm super impressed with how he is building things so that they will print in the air. So many designers, I'm going to ungroup this. So many young designers will send me a design with parts aimed this way. And when you 3D print, they build from zero. So there are no supports here and that wouldn't work. I love that Drake understands that if you aim it upward or as you can see, he's got them building right from zero. That is a fantastic way to make an object that's sturdy and prints without using supports, which is one of the things I prefer. Thanks again, Drake, for your cool creations and taking time to share. Finally, friends, I want to remind you, if you ever make something awesome and want to share it with me, all you have to do is click on this button, generate a link, copy the link, and then you can immediately reach out and find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If you don't have those options available, don't forget you can also visit HLModTech.com. It is my website. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. There are tons of amazing lessons and down at the bottom there is a built-in messaging tool if you click the button paste in your share link you can hit the send button and reach out to me almost instantly finally friends i also want to remind you if you hit this search button switch to people and choose hl mod tech you can see all of the designs that i have publicly posted i'm hoping you also start posting your public designs when you first launch it, it is probably sorted by likes if you switch to latest you'll be able to see what the newest creations are friends when you click this don't forget there are links to the tutorial so you can make your own awesome one if you do make one you can share it with me also don't forget you can also give the creator a reaction which is unbelievably awesome finally friends i want to say thanks again to pre and drake i appreciate your creative nature and taking time to share with me friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like even hit that share button so more people can find out about hl mod tech of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.